Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. I am going to jump right into the notes I took while watching. I the one thing I do kind of we, we got no adult Katie. I mean, come on, Katie Featherston as the the you know this kind of almost zombie like is the one of the biggest strengths of this entire series and I can't believe there wasn't any just yeah, but that is like probably the only <sighs> Yeah, the, the only thing that I'm like, oh, that was too bad, but, yeah. I have to admit, I did not think that the time travel would actually, or, that that the whole thing with, with the, the portals, the, the doors that lead to evil places, I did not think that that was going to pay off. It seemed like just a strange thing. I, it's a good thing they dropped that so late into this series because it, it, you know, I can imagine that it put a lot of people off. You know, per, yeah, like I said in the video, I, I honestly thought they were trolling. I couldn't imagine that it would actually somehow follow up on that and yeah but yeah I, I don't know if it's necessarily time travel or it's just that you know it from this one it would appear that time works in a strange way there it like maybe time almost stands still there because we see you know the the children ch child versions of you know the the yeah Katie and Christy there and it would appear that they brought Hunter in there from you know once once he <laughs> yeah once he grew up and had you know was renamed Wyatt and he's right there with the children of Katie and Christie. So, yeah, there's there's a there's not necessarily time travel. It might just be that time doesn't pass in the ghost dimension. That it is a timeless dimension. And yeah, the moment that they could, they they took, you know, yeah, the the. They, they, the, the care, the, the, the people that they needed to keep safe were taken to the ghost dimension. And the, the, I mean, right off the, the bat, it's like, right from the start, I, I might, I probably did myself. The question was raised. Why weren't they found, though? I mean, it, okay, you know, it's, it's, you know, the world is a big place. It's, it's difficult to find, but you have their faces. You know exactly what Katie looks like. If she's been missing since 2006, has no one anywhere seen her? But if she's been in the ghost dimension, then no. No one has seen her, and we don't know how many different, you know, of, of these portals they have. You know, I mean, we, we know that the, you know, near where where the Mark ones took place, there was one of these witches, and, you know, the... I mean, that wasn't, like, right 
next door to the other, you know, I mean, I, I don't remember exactly where the coven, they had that house. Was that the house from the third film? Maybe? No. Anyway, okay, let's, let's hypothetically say there's only the one portal. That's, that's perfectly fine for what we needed to do. Plain and simple, each time they, you know, yeah, they would bring them into the portal. And there you go. That's, that's it. How could anyone find them? They're not in our realm anymore. Plain and simple. And, you know, that's... One thing that I think... I did not think they were going to be able to explain this away, but why was Hunter... So, you know, it's... Oh, that's the twist. Why it is actually Hunter. And it was like, well, they just did this so they could do the twist, so they could have a creepy kid, and then we were supposed to think that Robbie is actually Hunter, but then it turns out to be Wyatt that's Hunter, and they just had this other creepy kid, and they just needed, you know, to, you know, so it it almost seems like the fourth one was there so that, you know, that, that it didn't need to exist, that basically... It was just a way to do another movie in the series and still have it, you know, link in with the rest, connect with the rest by way of Hunter. And, you know, it would be too obvious if Robbie was Hunter because we immediately know that the mother is Kate. You know, that's, that's, you know, it's, it's still a shock when we do see her, but that's more like, a, you know, will we actually see her or is she gone or something? But, you know... He needed to grow up, plain and simple. The the they weren't going to be able to get it from Christie. They they at first they they you know they they tried to possess Christie so that they could get the the baby because they needed Hunter. I'm gonna mess up the name. I think Daniel was, and Dennis was the the stepfather with the in the third film. But but yeah, the Daniel, he fought back and repelled the the. Yeah, let's let's go with Toby. Toby tried to possess Christy. Daniel sent it on to Katie. I'm with Spoony. Just. Say if your dog ever starts talking to you. That's that's all you got to do. I mean, just it's common decency. Katie becomes successfully possessed. She disposes of Mika, and if you want, like, there to be a reason for that, if if that wasn't just like Mika would, you know, be very quick to try to find her and alert the police. And possibly even, like, run after and, you know, maybe find her before she got to the ghost dimension. After she's killed Mika, she picks up baby Hunter, and we don't see what happens then. And and then, you know, with from the fourth one, we can assume that, well, I mean, she may just... I, I don't remember if we're told in the third one. For, fourth one. I, I haven't watched... I haven't watched it since I saw it in theaters, so I don't remember if they said how old Wyatt was when they got him, but hypothetically, let's just say she might just have gone, you know, she might have had, you know, Hunter taken up for adoption, like, immediately, you know, and yeah, because she went to hide in the ghost dimension and they needed Hunter to grow up to an age of six. Same as they needed the, the, yeah, Leela at the age of six. And, yeah, the, the, I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I'm, I'm not sure if the map is slightly off with... Because I feel, I, I read on Wiki that she's supposed to be six, but 
if this is in 2013, she was from 05, should be eight, but, but, you know, anyway, let's, yeah, I'm presuming she's six, and maybe there's some, or maybe she's eight, and they just didn't find Catherine, whatever. Yeah, the, the, or maybe it wasn't that, maybe it was that at least one, but, but, yeah. That, so that was why the, why Hunter was given out for adoption and then taken back because he was now old enough to serve their purposes. And then when they took him away, he was taken into the ghost dimension. And there was a fire when Katie and Christy were children and they don't quite remember too much about it. We know that the the house that the, the family moves into in this one was built where the old one was. And we, you know, we see that one video where it seems like it was very recently rebuilt and just so that someone could, you know, yeah, so that they could lure in the, the this family, the, the Fleece family, I think they are. And... Yeah, so they could get Layla. And yeah, the the let's see, so that brings us to that is one thing I do th I know the the I know that we were supposed to know that it was adult Katie, but could they really not have, like, they, they, there's a, you know, they say, well, we just suddenly heard about this place, and, you know, we talked to a Katie, but I just called the company, they say she doesn't even work there, they never heard of someone like that, but your number is on her card, and kudos for at least getting fake card made, you know, that, that helps sell it. Really go by go by your regular first name and just hope that no I I yeah I feel like that would you know they they kind of just the 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 coven dropped the ball on that one because that is kind of a you know I mean just hypothetically the Felice family have already heard of Katie since the the you know, their their whereabouts remain unknown, so they must have, you know, they, they yeah, they, they've been like, you know, you know, wanted kind of, yeah, you know, missing kind of ads or whatever. If you see a face that you feel is familiar and then you hear the name that is normally connected with that face, then you might, you know, she should have just used a different name, but yeah, it's so that we know that it's that Katie, but yeah. And that, and they cheated us out of, uh, you know, Katie Featherston. That's, yeah. But the, the, yeah, the, the house was burned down, and yet we see in what really looks like the same house, we see the, yeah, we, we see the, 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 you know, the sisters, Katie and Christy, be trained. And, yeah, basically, again, what I take to be the, you know, as far as I can tell, that is in the ghost dimension. And that's where they were in, you know, for for years between, and and that's of course where you know. I don't know exactly how if, like. I mean, it's it's you know if they if they left they must have left there at some point so that they could grow up and become the, you know, the two adults that we know, but. Yeah, I, 
I'm not entirely sure how that works out. But, or is there... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that one is. Or, or maybe it is just that... Because I'm pretty sure, I feel like... Did we see the fire start at the end of three? Maybe I'm... Maybe not, or maybe we're supposed to ret maybe that was supposed to retcon into that they spent some years there training, and then once they grew a little older, they you know they forgot that that had happened, and then they were just you know I I do love that they keep bringing back you know child Katie and child Christy because they. They are immensely creepy and really good actresses, but yeah. So the the they grow up and forget what happened with that, and then you know, then we have the you know Toby going after them, and the I suppose that. Oh, this covers that, um, and that covers the various films as well for that, and the, yeah, and, and the, you know, what the coven overall has been trying to accomplish is this, yeah, you know, giving Toby a human form, allowing him to to walk as to walk among us, which is indeed what the ending says will happen. And <laughs> that is absolutely terrifying. And and keep in mind, I'm not like I don't actually believe in the supernatural. I just you know, I, I, I get it. I understand the, and I, you know, like, I, I don't believe in it, but I kind of, I don't know if want to is the right word, but, you know, I, I, I think there's a lot to, there's a lot we can understand if we look at the, the way the world is, painted in the supernatural and in various religions and uh, yeah so so yeah they the coven all along were working towards giving Toby a human form and you know when 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 I reviewed the you know when I did the thoughts video for the very first movie I joked that you know the second movie rather that you know an infant wouldn't be very useful you know if if it was to you know to be a vessel for satan himself then you know it might be a little awkward for the dark door to be in the body of an infant and then i think i also in the thoughts for four said well maybe they wanted to wait for him to be able to stand and speak and yeah, the, the, I wasn't completely, I wasn't hugely far off with, with that whole, and, you know, that was, so, so that was Toby's human father, and Leela becomes Toby's human mother, and, yeah, that, so, so, that is what they've been building towards since, the 1930s, I want to say, that was when the the grandmother of the family gave up the firstborn son for power and wealth, I think it was. And yeah, ever since the the you know the witches in the family have been working towards getting Toby a yeah human form and gradually we've seen how many of them there are and that you know how 
extensive their abilities are and yeah I like I'm pretty sure it's intentional that this movie is the sixth one that it's not like you know I I presume we're supposed to count and you know I, I think on IMDB it you know the marked ones is only there as a spin-off so if you look up like the overall series then there's supposedly only five movies but I think the these and I, I don't know anything about the the Tokyo Nights Paranormal Activity 2 Tokyo Nights I haven't watched it at all or anything but yeah it's um, yeah, the, the idea that it's number six, and yeah, the, as the priest says, you know, 666, it, you know, the, the, both Hunter and Leela were born on the 6th of the 6th, 05, which is six years into the, because, you know, 666, 999, 1999 was, yeah, so it's, and that, yeah, that makes an awful lot of sense that then it's, you know, and I don't know if they're also supposed to be six years old, because again, I'm pretty sure, wait, wait, this takes place in 2013, so I guess, man, wouldn't she be seven, because it's December, and anyway, I, I don't know if, the the their actual age is is necessary for but yeah the the two children both born on the same day the the date matching up to 666 and a, a boy and a girl so that the you know together they can create another and another life but you know i I think it was cut from the movie, but in the trailers, Leela does say she's gonna have a special baby, just like me. You know, in the film, she does say, you know, Mary's, you know, gonna have. She's she's the one who's gonna have a special baby, but she doesn't. And and that's. I love that. I love because I didn't I didn't see it coming. I gotta admit. It's set at Christmas. They they bring up. Mary, and this, you know, throughout this series has been very clearly, as far as religion goes, Christian. Right from the start, you know, right in the first, we we have, you know, the... Actually, come to think of it, I'm not certain there's anything in the first one, but the... Isn't there at least one cross as one in one of the... First view, because that wasn't a priest they spoke to. That was a paranormal investigator. But but even back then, it was like, well, this is this is a demon, so it's not. Yeah. It, anyway, it is it is the the Christian. You know, it's it's not like some you know, and it's not necessarily like Catholic, but but it's it's Christian, so it is a. Yeah, and the the Christian, you know, the the birth of Jesus. <sighs> yeah, and now you know it's it's very South Park. The 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 special baby born near Christmas. Yeah, not not a an actual. Yeah. And the, the, you know, the, they, you know, both Hunter and Leela had to give just a little bit of blood. It's, it's okay, mommy. They just need a drop of blood. And, you know, we, we find out that Toby is indeed straight out of the book of Revelations. You know, she, she draws him because she can see him, you know, and to her, it's like, you know, just... Yeah, I, I really love the bit where it's like, you know, the, the mother is like, I, I don't want to be in this room. Can, can we go downstairs? Would you have the whole house to ourselves? We can do anything. Do, do you want to go on the seesaw? And, and Lila just keeps saying, I'm fine. 
and just you know and then something comes in there and she giggles and then she looks at her mother I'm fine and just you know I said I'm fine I, I don't want to yeah that was and the let's see I suppose that more or less I quite like the 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 use of the of of the the TP that just you know sometimes she's in there and sometimes you know and might there be something in there and yeah and you know the that she you know she gets the rosary and buries it and she gets the you know tears out the Bible pages and you know is about to burn them and this whole thing you know again very clearly there's a you know letting in like you know that's I, I think that's been a very well done element in the series right from the beginning it's by provoking a fearing or you know inviting you know the 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 activity becomes more extreme as they provoke the demon or they you know yeah if if they try to get someone in to help them with the demon or the like and it works by instilling fear and gradually working towards you know it's you know people are like oh i can't just open the door and pick her up that first day who says that it can do what we human beings can do it's it's not of our world it's trying to cross over into our world and yeah that doesn't just happen just like that and yeah again i i don't believe this but i know that that's how that's the idea of how it works that is and it is it makes sense you know it you don't just immediately jump to well just pick up and go you know it's you you build think of it think of it as us trying to go to space you know at first we can just send out a thing that takes pictures and yeah that's the demon you know making the door creak or making loud noises and gradually we build to finally being able to set foot on the moon that is the demon possessing Kate you know it's it's not just yeah and the the yeah so in this you know in so yeah in, in the first one it's Mika you know saying you know come on show yourself to you know and getting the 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 Ouija yeah Ouija Ouija board I feel like I'm mispronouncing that but I think you know what I mean spirit board and yeah in this it's bearing a rosary and trying to burn Bible pages you know and I I like the thing with you know is he in the house yes you know very very nice and creepy foreboding and the you know the the lights going out and this thing where like Christy focusing especially was like you know that that blew out all the the monitors and the whole thing you know i honestly thought that they were going to use the you know the the soccer table for some scares and you know it, it i don't know if stuff was cut maybe or something but yeah i mean it seemed like a 
that was going to be like maybe the possessed toy of this one or something. Or at least, you know, the, there was going to be stuff with that. I also feel like they didn't really get very much out of the angel. It was just kind of, you know, mentioned this really important and very carefully put it, and then it, you know, crashes down there with the, you know, and just, it didn't quite have the impact that it seemed like it should. And the, the thing about when, when the, the leader guy told the two of what, you know, the, the sisters, he was like, you know, Christy, you're going to have the child that is very important to us. Katie, your, your force will be strength and you're going to need to take care of a lot of people. Yeah. This was like the only one where she didn't kill anyone since like, yeah, actually, this is the first one where she didn't kill anyone in the whole series. And that was only because she wasn't in it. That's, you know, I, like, like I, I've, I've said it before, Katie Featherston does not get out of bed. Kate, Katie in Paranormal Activity does not get out of bed if there, is, if there aren't at least two necks for her to snap. I like the use of symbols and the, the, the flute with the, yeah, that, that, you know, through, yeah, you know, the, the flute was like helping to get, you know, Toby in, giving him more power, which, excuse me, again, is, excuse me, yeah, that is consistent with, you know, some some beliefs about the the supernatural. That you know the, yeah, various, you know, it's it's ritual. You know, there's there there is a ritual to the the various things she's doing, and yeah, and the the, you know, her drawing symbols, and you know. Yeah, basically making that passage that, you know, right behind her her bed that then opens and that somehow, somehow she comes, you know, and even, even when they're, you know, they're at the hotel and it's only because Skylar and Mike went back for, you know, some of the, the researches, you know, they left in a hurry. They were just trying to get away from there. And they fell asleep for two seconds and, you know, two minutes or something. And they, yeah, suddenly she was gone. And suddenly she's, you know, what was it six miles away in the in the house? That that makes no sense, you know. And, and this whole, yeah, that was, yeah. that and, and again, really shows how much power the, the coven had. And the mm, I wanted to say also the 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 chanting of Bloody Mary was also you know a, again seemingly you know letting letting Toby in, which is also how it seemed to work in the third one, you know, letting him in, giving him more power in, in some way, or, you know, it, they, you know, they say, well, you know, not, you know, that, that it's to call forth a spirit, you know, so it's not necessarily Toby, but yeah, you know, it might be a way to help let Toby in, you know, it might be another spirit that helps let him in, and the, you know, and they, they, the, the thing with the mirror plays out slightly differently than the trailer. And yeah, I thought it was quite nice. You know, you, yeah, it, it was surprising that it played out that, that different way, but yeah, it was quite nicely done. And the, 
you know, another change was that in the trailer, it's like, you know, Leela comes in, she, you know, she couldn't sleep. There are strange noises in my room, you know, and, and then, you know, in the film, it's you are making too much noise, you know, and the, you know, what really needed to happen was to get them, you know, yeah, get, get her in there so that she could sneeze and that the, you know, Katie and Christy could say, bless you, which I find fiercely ironic, just that, that these, you know, I mean, it's obviously creepy and the just freaky that it's breaking the fourth wall, but it's still, I mean, bless you is, is, yeah, you know, considering that the three girls are or will be under demonic influence, you know, that they're, you know, <laughs> yeah, that they are using this, this, you know, minor calling upon God of, yeah. And the, I, I suppose that, more or less covers the I wanted to talk about the ending and just in I quite like the priest I liked how he was useful throughout and gradually built towards a solution and each time it seemed like you know it that's one thing I will say about the first movie the the specialist you know that i mean the first time he helps out with you know some you know he explains some and it you know we get a better idea of what is going on but then the second time he just shows up and says well i you know i can't help you i shouldn't be here bye and in this it's very much that if anybody can help them it is this priest you know father father todd and yeah, just this consistent, you know, he keeps just very gently saying, oh, she's shy, oh, hi there, and, you know, your your bear looks looks like he's he's hot, he, you know, maybe some, some water, and, you know, shows her, just, see, it's safe, just a little bit of water on the forehead, yeah, I think he likes that, would, would it be okay if you had, oh, that's okay, just a little bit of water, and, you know, she, and she stopped smiling, and it's like, oh, this is Anna, <laughs> you know, vampire on the, on the priest, you know, and, the, yeah, and, you know, and the guy's a trooper, he still comes back, you know, he, he's not, no, 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 I'm fine, just make sure to take care of your daughter, you know, he's, he's like, you know, walking out the door, blood pouring down, just, I'll be okay, there's a, there's a clinic nearby, and um, I'm gonna be okay. This is not the first time I've been bitten today, you know. But just yeah, he's he's chill, and you know he comes back, and yeah, it's this thing you know we we don't need, a, you know it's not an exorcism, it's an extermination, you know. And the let's see what was the, I I think there's at least one more thing where he interacts very directly with her, and it like doesn't end well, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, you know, she's got the black eyes, not, not, you know, hit black eyes, but the, the black pupils, and just, man, she's really good at being creepy, and, you know, the, the, what was the, the you know, soaking the, the sheets in holy water, and, you know, the, the, you know, the salt drawing the, the symbol on the floor, you know, and, and getting, and, and, and Leela just looks at him, he knows what you're doing. <laughs> so creepy. You know, even, every single time one of them says, you know, it's, Toby, stop, I'll do it. He doesn't like you. You'll know, you'll know who, and, you know, he's gonna take me away and he knows what you're doing each time the so creepy and yeah just straight up you know and and this is like 
again, if, I mean, I knew in the trailer there was going to be something like this, but if you had told me that there was going to be a paranormal activity movie with a straight up freaking exorcism or exterminate, whatever, I would not have believed. And it was epic. Like, you know, you, it, it comes in there and, oh, okay, we have, oh, it's, it's caught. Okay. And, and, you know, just trying to reach out. Okay. Throw, throw the sheet over it. And, and then we really get to see the, the monstrous form. You know, we've seen the, the black thing and we, we've gotten these quick glimpses of the face that they get stills of and can look at, at the monitor. And it really looks like really scary face kind of thing. And, you know, you, it's, it's like whipping out and, completely you know and it seems to completely you know it seems to to drown in the the holy water and then okay okay Leela oh she's fine and the you know the the yeah and looking around oh okay everyone seems fine and then father talk gets you know pulled back from you know and Looking around, and and Skylar is like, there's there's you know she's in you know she's clearly got some of it, and and she throws up onto like I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's like Mike not Ryan, and it's like melting his face, and you know okay so they run off, and you know she's carrying the camera just so you know in part so she can even see this thing now that it's left the the sheet, and. You know, he's running, oh, I dropped the camera, it's okay, just pay and then she's still the one to pick it up, I, yeah, whatever, but, you know, it was, and it was a good little bit that she dropped it, and then, you know, and runs off, and then he gets, like, you know, spear through the, the, you know, with, with the, the hand of, of Toby, and pulled back, you know, and she runs in, and it's like, oh, no, where, where'd she go, and, you know, she goes in through, into the ghost dimension, and you know, oh, where, where is Leela? You know, it's too late. It's too, where, where is you know? And, and the the children playing up there, and you can only really see the shadow. And then, oh, Leela, are you okay? You know, and and you see the the dripping of the you know some kind of dark fluid from from the ceiling. You know, gets Leela. Oh, thank you. You know, she seems fine. She's finally she she seems back to normal. You know, we we you know we. Briefly at the start, we see how she is when it's normal, and just gradually over the course of the film, we've seen less and less of that. She's become more and more scary and creepy, and finally she seems okay. It's, it's okay, mommy. They only needed one drop, and you know, and the camera gets dropped, and you, you have what you want. Just let let us go, you know. And Toby walks up with these, you know, big thumping footsteps gets the, the, you know, grabs Emily, you know, and, and picks her up, and you just hear this, you know, this, this, like, he breaks, we, we don't really see exactly how, but, you know, we can tell he, like, breaks her in half or something. It's, it's brutal. And then, you know, the, the, walks past the camera and then it gets like turned off and that's it and just you know a demon from the book of revelations is now on this earth and that's you know that's how it ends and that's what it was all building towards and that really yeah very very cool very chilling conclusion to this whole yeah I really hope that they stick by it and that they don't make any more that this is it because it really there's there's nothing else left to do and you know each of them end on this note of like oh no the you know then this you know is is out and this actually happened and these people died and you know and yeah this is this is a good logical conclusion to all of that and a, you know, a new, you know, yeah, a, a, to, to a, a, a goal to reach that the, you know, the whole 
time it's been built because that is what you know right from the start of the first one gradually Toby let's just go with that keeps getting more and more power and yeah it's it's it makes sense that he then ends up having a you know a a basically human body being able to to walk you know it is like or you know i guess we only see him in the ghost dimension it's not 100% certain that he is like that he could just walk out and be you know among people and if he doesn't look like a human you know he would have to be very powerful for well yeah what what i'm saying is if he just steps out and starts like causing havoc you know i mean i don't know i guess then we we would see if there is like a limit to just how much you know yeah if if there is anything that could possibly take him down but even if we don't go there we still you know at the end of the day you know having watched all six movies what we end up with is right from the start this was about a demon straight out of revelations and at the very end he is free he is yeah and and that is like i it's been a while since i really delve into revelations but i i mean it's not it's not one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse kind of thing is it it's not that like now that a demon from revelations is among us you know the world will end i don't i don't think but you know it's it's still you know it was a significant victory for evil and yeah there's not you know they got what they needed the the you know even if like you know we could maybe say that the you know one demon wouldn't necessarily be enough maybe they keep working or maybe they have already done other things you know maybe it you know otherwise also culminates in more demons but at the end of the day what what we for sure have at the end of this series is a demon from revelations having gotten you know into you know human form in and yeah i mean even if we don't see any more movies but we say that the story is still going on or yeah you know more has happened than we've seen as in you know as is often the case in stories yeah maybe they have a whole bunch of demons from the you know the the bottom line is they are really good at what they're doing and they are winning you know the forces of evil are winning and that's yeah that is a excellently truly terrifying note to end on and yeah it's yeah I think that was more or less what I wanted to say I like that we got another you know the kitchen explodes kind of thing the <laughs> yeah they're they're quite good at those and yeah and the suppose i like the various relationships you know how like <laughs> mike was being kind of kind of creepy towards Skylar right from the start and then there's still some kind of you know well you know let's why don't we have some wine together and this whole thing and the you know yeah just their, their scenes together were, were good and I like the you know apropos the kitchen explosion the, the bit with you know next time I'm gonna stay with mom you know that was that was pretty good the yeah and the yeah i i think they did very well on the the characters you know the yeah their personalities and their interactions that it got just not just enough variety and 
you know, you still had a little bit of that kind of skeptic vibe in there, but, you know, because you almost kind of need, like, if, if everyone's just immediately saying, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's supernatural, there's something going on, then that's almost too much, and, you know, and at the same time, we still have that most of the characters accept that this is going on, you know, I mean, Emily doesn't completely believe that some, you know, right away, but once she starts seeing, you know, it doesn't, she doesn't, like, ignore evidence of it the way that, you know, in some of the others, it seems like, well, yeah, some of the characters genuinely look at evidence, and it's not like, you know, okay, this is messed up, we gotta find out about, you know, yeah, some of them just kind of, <laughs> kind of blasé about it, and it doesn't really, yeah, it, it's it's sometimes necessary for the film to work the way it, it does. And, I, you know, here with the last one, that when they, when so much was going to happen, it was nice that they just, you know, almost right away we have paranormal activity and we have some really, you know, yeah. There's clearly something going on and it, doesn't take very long for it to become very distinctly creepy and evil and yeah I suppose that more or less covers it I let's see I already went over some of how the how I feel like the various films each, you know, that, that each time there's some major, like, puzzle piece that fits in to what we end up with here. Excuse me. I suppose... I mean, I, I honestly, I did not think that the... that the Marked One's portal was going to come back and that there would be a proper explanation for why Hunter was put up for adoption. The, yeah, and I mean, I guess that Robbie kind of, Robbie may not have been put up for adoption. Robbie may have been raised purely by members of the coven, and hence he is not good at dealing with other people. And, yeah, and I suppose, I believe that covers it. I've read other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.